Amazing! I knew you had great potential, even back then at the Jammer. Ah, oh, isn't she a beauty? Oh, you can see she's been properly cared for all this time. <laughs> so unlike my poor old girl. Artyom, I wonder how fast he can go on a straight I have something line, to talk to you about. We'll have to ask Crest about that. Thank you, Artyom. No, with all the I don't distraction. Even know how to thank you. Is there anything Spacebo. such as a straight line anymore? 
Thank you, Artyom. But this you crest uh, is really man. a risk taker. Taking I this tiny tent. thing on such a journey. Come on, Artyom. Come up here. Uncle Artyom, will you find my teddy? Teddy? Teddy! Are you really back? You're my hero, Teddy! Mom! Teddy's back! What do you have to say? Oh, thank you, Uncle Artyom! Thank you so much! Come on, the old man's waiting. So, are you ready for that final push? Good luck, and thanks again. Oh, where did you get this? God damn, this is cool. Thank you, man. You just blew my mind. We've been worried here. Anna worried the most, of course. But I told her that the Colonel only sends you on the most important missions, because he trusts you that much. You're back. You did great. Thank you. So, here's the plan. Your group captures the tugboat, then you, Duke and Crest, take it to the bridge. While Crest distracts the guards, you and Duke infiltrate the control room at the top and lower the bridge. On your mark, we'll ram the gates, pick you up, and... And... I pray to God it works out. Hmm. I can't give you or Duke any direct support. The data we have tells us the enemy's main force is guarding the gate. One more thing, Artyom. Look after Duke, all right? He's a great scout, but uh, prone to unnecessary risks. Uh, sure, he's young, but if he continues like that, uh, who knows what will happen, huh? So give him a good example and do it smoothly and quietly. You are his role model, and as such should remember that you are special forces, huh? not tank jocks. Good luck, Artyom. Welcome back, Ranger. <laughs> it looks like I've been worrying for nothing. <sighs> it's my age, I guess. Oh, well, we were all worried. Yeah, but Anna took it to a whole new level, I must say. Artyom, look, I have an improvement for Tiha ready. Try taking it out for a trial. You're welcome to use the workbench to install it.
Thank you. Thank you so much. I can't even begin to explain how much this means to us. Thank you. You see, it's our carriage from a year ago. So many things happened. Uh, Artyom, uh, the team took the long way around to the port. But you could get there faster. There's a boat there. Or you could just take a zip line from the bandit tower. Well, Artyom, break a leg. Good luck to you. In the port and on the bridge, too. I see you. Come up here on the crane. I'm here. You made it. I was worried sick while you were running around in that terminal. Yermak said you brought the sleeper carriage. You are simply the best. Sorry I'm talking so much, but I missed you. Okay, okay, back to business. <clears throat> Damned cough. I guess I spent too much time in that dump. So, they have more guards than we anticipated. It seems risky, but Crest, Crest says, says such caravans are usually, are usually commanded, commanded by a captain. captain. So, so if, if we, we capture, capture him, him, the others will surrender. They have about 15 guards. Four at the tugboat ladder, sentries at the pier. Sam will take the right flank. Come in, Sam. I'm in position. I can see a guard. Duke is to the left of the hangar. Come in. Duke in position, ready to take the guard off. Idiot is on the far crane. Ready for action. Got a mark on everyone on the pier. Crest has scouted out the basement. There's only two of them here. Busy repairing something, so... Uh, this seems to be the best spot for quite empty. Well, Artyom, we are all set. You managed to get out of the church quietly, so let's make this one the same. Yeah, it's 
It's no fun beating up immature soldiers like them. Cut the chatter. All right, Artyom, you're in charge. You call the shots. Okay, well, it's high time we started. So try to get on that, get on that tugboat. We'll give you cover. Let's go over the plan one more time. Once the tugboat is in our hands, Sam, Idiot, and I will go back to the Aurora, while Artyom, Duke, and Kress take the boat to the bridge. Good luck, everyone. So are you rested? Well, it's time. So try to get on that tugboat. We'll give you cover. Let's go over the plan one more time. Once the tugboat is in our hands, Sam, Idiot, and I will go back to the Aurora, while Artyom, Duke, and Kress take the boat to the bridge. Good luck, everyone. On your left. <laughs> Not a thing there, as always. So, what is there in Africa? Just a moment. The city is. The peers are still there, so once the river got cleaner, they started trading there. I was there too. Help decontaminate the piers. Why have a market there? <laughs> Where else? It used to be a big city, a great place for a market. It's just that the games took it over. So our skipper left the place. And the guys tagged along. Look, you climb aboard there. I'll distract them. You get on. Right. I'd here and wait for them to pass. How are we supposed to go there now? Well, we got it covered. They buy all of our wares wholesale, and we get our fuel from them at a special discount. <coughs> then we just go up the river, deliver whatever the guys up there need hey, from what the was south. that? We, we have to check it out. And go back down. Uh, what's the point? Do you have to have look, look for more stuff to do? At least I'm not getting shot. Well, I, I sure don't like it, but we gotta check. All right, then. I'll be going. All right, let's do ah, that. Yeah, yeah. Sure I'll things. avenge you Keep if you get hit. Out. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Could get you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Just don't shoot my ass, though, okay, you avenging angel? There's something over there! Let's see what was that. Turn back about 20 clicks from them. Fuck those assholes. What the hell? The generator died again. There are narrow spaces between the cargo. Squeeze through them. Will we have power today or what? We got a job to do. We will, we will. The spark plugs got drenched again. Ah, well, nope. what's taking you so long then? Let me do it. Do it. Do it. There's a float between the barges. The Climb it's overboard. As expected. Hey, that's a good one. They don't even bite here. That monster must have eaten all the food. Yeah, you can't do it. 
finish away with your bullshit. It's high time you start to bite it. Nothing. Once again. Quit scaring the fish. He's gone now. Move on. So how long are we going to keep sitting on our thumbs here? Well, Mikhailich is working on it. The generator shuts off all the time now. If that's because you should have picked up normal spark plugs, not the shit you got. It sure would have saved us a lot of trouble. Well, they aren't so bad. Look how long they lasted. And Ahmed wanted two more clips from new guys. So... And anyway, what's your problem? Are you in a hurry? This place gives me the creeps. That monster in the river? This shit is too much! <laughs> it's a shame you aren't in Shiboxery. Why is that so quick? One of those monsters sunk a barge. Now that's bullshit. Tell them to carry it when you see him. He and the boys want to catch him. Oh. The usual way. Got the boy, uh, this guard for these two. Not for me. Action. Action is what I need. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I can pay the, the goods. Take them. You can take the goods. Stay calm. It's us. We don't need your goods, your tugboat on the other hand. You can collect it at the bridge if you play your cards right. You got me? Uh, yes, of course. Order your people to stand down and nobody gets hurt at once. Hey, listen up, people. This is your skipper. Stand down and surrender at once. You did the right thing. It's nice to talk to a smart guy for a change. Now go. <laughs> Great job, Atul. Artyom, all of our guys are fine. You did great. So, you guys ready to set off? Too late if you're not. We have no time to waste. Good luck, guys. I hope the winds are fair and the waters are smooth. And Artyom, watch it out there. Oh yeah, we're gonna need that luck, all right. Fair winds. Hurra! Man your stations, way anchor! We're gonna go about halfway there, then wait in the reeds until about 4 o'clock. We want to get there early in the morning, when the fog is the thickest and they are sleepy after the morning prayer. Artyomich, Duke, we're on final approach. There. Yeah. See that fire at the very top? That's the control post. What well, used to be anyway. Now it's a shrine, believe. Closer to God at the top, you see. That's where you have to go. I'll distract the guards now. So, Artyom, shall we move? Whoever gets there first wins. Break a leg. Artyom, Cupid, the Aurora is quietly moving into position. We'll be ready to act on your signal. Roger that, sir. We're on it. Over. Because they have arrived. Just like Father Salon. 
champions for gold. Who arrived? Satan slaves! It's like you missed the morning sermon. Well, I didn't. One day you are going to get sent to fight demons for that. Uh, but it's so early. Just tell me what he said. Uh, all right. Uh, a heretic actually arrived back at the ceremony. Our guys rushed over to save the Holy Father, and the heretic killed most of them. They say he wouldn't touch you if you surrender. He also didn't harm the unarmed folk that just happened to be there. He hasn't lost the last of his humanity, that heretic. Not to mention that Katia and her witch spawn escaped from all the conditions. There's a rumor that people saw her with the heretics. So you think they might attack? Uh, who knows? They are. May the Zarfish devour that. Yeah, they only murder in the minds of those heathens. Simon's back. Back? But he and Kirill vowed to eradicate all the demons. You don't just come back after that. Well, ask anyone. They got captured by heathens, but a heretic, one of the new ones, freed them. Ah, old Simon just got cold feet, that's all. All the stories people tell not to go. No, he did not. He came back and made a huge fuss at the church and got his way through. Now we will be praying for that heretic instead of Simon. You got that? Oh, God. For a heretic? It would please God, though. That Simon. What next? Then he just made the sign of the cross, kissed the altar, and went back you know, I've been thinking, to the demons. What do those heretics want here? Yes. What about Kenny? They just want to get... things well, I, I, I don't know I think I did uh, what could that I think there's someone in the storage room something was there everything is fine the fish will let me come to no harm What is it? Are you okay? It's the energy to run after each and every sound. He always sleeps through the morning mass. Simon, what next? Then he just made the sign of the cross, kissed the altar, and went back to the demons. Yes, what about Kirill? He's the one who's going to do the praying. Father Salantius himself wiped his slate clean. You know, I've been thinking, oh, yes, what do those demons want to do? God save Simon's soul. They just want to get to the other side. Over there. No, nothing at all. Well, I guess I'll just go there. It's not that far. <laughs> here, definitely here. At least around here. Check it. Don't you worry, sir. <laughs> hey, What's bro. The the Everyone is looking for a better life. Which is where? Where? Where we are. Simon, what next? Then he just made the sign of the cross, kissed the altar, and went back to the demons. Yes. Yes. What about Kirill?
Simon, what next? Then he just made the sign of the cross, kissed the altar, and went back to the demons. So we're standing here, guarding. Yes. While the head is already in our cloister. <laughs> Not everyone is created the same. God save Simon's soul. <sighs> Don't you worry so much. You know, I've been well, thinking. I just can't what are those heretics want before I still come back? Don't you worry so much. Well, you know, and what's so nice over there on the other side? <laughs> hey, brother. Everyone is looking for a daughter wife. Which is where? As if people return from Where? demon killing prison belong. Where we are not. So how about I come with you? Why well, is together for We sure. are the just ones. <laughs> we are part of the We'll explain it better. Why is it better where we are fixed? Electric cult. The cursed 
Give the enemy cave to the fools, so that they would fancy themselves above reproach, above God, and more powerful than him. We Amen, my children, for the electric current is Satan's temptation and his poison. Only those who reject electricity will be allowed into the kingdom of God. Only those who remain unsullied by its corruption will be let through by the serpent. Glory to the fish! So let us not fear the heretics at our door. The ones who would attack our cloister. Even with their iron steeds standing before us, stinking of machine oil and shining its heretical light upon us, we will not falter. Let us steer ourselves against them. For it is our hour of glory. Amen. Amen. So let your hands slay the enemy servants with no less or mercy. For we carry out the will of our Lord. And it is need for retribution and punishment for their sins that our enemies will receive. And all who stand before our gates shall scatter like dust in the wind. His will be done. His will be done. For he will devour them, body and soul. For one can cleanse himself of gunpowder, but electricity puts an eternal brand upon the sinner. So let us call to the starfish. Come, oh, starfish! And even more so, do you reject Satan and descend the thing they call the electric current? They curse it with the enemy cave to the fool, so that they would fancy themselves about the ghost, about the ghost, and more powerful than him. We reject! Amen, my children! For the electric current is Satan's temptation and his poison. Only those who reject electricity will be allowed into the kingdom of God. Only those will never get past the starfish. So you got me in their tactics. You took gotcha, and now you have me. Damn, you are quicker too. Oh look, we're just passing through. Let us through peacefully, our guys won't shoot. We've been easy on you people the whole time. And Katya asked us to take her along herself. Do you get me? Sure thing. First you kill off the local cutthroats, and then you switch to us. Will you kill elders and children too? Or have you drunk enough blood already? Leave us for good now. God may punish you for your sins, but my responsibility is to end my flock. That's a good boy. Hear me, brothers. Hold your fire. You hear me? I'll excommunicate everyone who shoots. Well, I did all I could. Just don't shoot. And tell the driver to keep it slow. The bridge is in shambles. So don't stop, but the bridge might collapse. You will have to jump to here. We've reached an agreement. They will let us through if we don't shoot and move slowly. And don't stop. I repeat, do not stop. Over. Kill you loud and clear, Duke. We're on the move. All hands. Close your fire and kill Mordor. Artyom, let's jump! Well, that's a job well done, huh? <laughs> We left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. The bridge dwellers had finally decided to believe that we were not demons, 
and let us pass. Anna was right. We invaded their world, and it's not up to us to destroy it, no matter how stupid it may seem. Electricity is a sin. Is that really worse than the lies we were told in the Metro? About how the whole world was dead and there was nowhere to go? Everybody in the tunnels bought that convenient lie. Once we reach Yamantau, we will at least know if that lie was justified. Since so far, we haven't met any signs of enemy occupation. Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the Colonel wants you on the breach. See you later. Come on, wake up. You did a great job there. We are not home anymore, so we'd all better act like you did. Smoothly. It's not like there's many of us humans left now. So I hope someday we will be able to trust others just because. Because they are people too. Am I bothering you? Sorry, I'm in a philosophical mood today. Stay here for a bit, Artyom. This is great. I wish I could stay like this forever. Artyom, when you climb those ruins back in Moscow, or with your radio, did you imagine our life on the surface at all? A home, for one. A place where we could live. A log cabin on the outskirts of a forest. Or how about a bungalow on an ocean shore? Oh, well, you know, there's something great in simply going anywhere like this. Together. Through the abandoned stations, the ruins, the wasteland. Especially in our own private compartment. Thinking back, isn't this our honeymoon trip? <laughs> It certainly feels like one, even though it's a bit late. We've only had some honeymoon sorties at best so far. You know, I had a talk with Katya. I'm sitting here recalling that bridge and those people there, and we've been sitting underground for 20 years. And they haven't. So what? These are not the same people who used to build cities, planes, and space rockets. They are just like us in Metro, only even more dejected. They are, essentially, slaves. For real. They work all day and pray all night, always watched, always directed. Everything is under control. Everything is decided by the community. Well, I mean, Silantius. They don't even have any property. Even their socks belong to the community. They're just entranced with him, with his ridiculous lies about electricity. Of course, not everyone got fooled easily, but if they dare ask questions, they get penance, exercising an electric demon with prayer and the cross. But that's a death sentence. How is a flashlight dangerous? Or a radio? But no, they shun it all. They hide and keep praying. How can you even make people believe this ridiculous garbage within just a few years? People in general start believing lies surprisingly easily, don't they? As long as those lies are convenient or at least familiar. Take us in Metro. All right, we haven't met the occupying forces yet. If we disregard that shirt I found on an antenna... <coughs> Katya and Crest never met them either. But maybe they are still out there somewhere. 
And if they are, then they didn't even tell us about them back home. They didn't tell us that the war was still on. They just made us believe that there's no life anywhere outside of Metro. They've been lying to us. Lying non-stop. All this time. Were their intentions good? Perhaps. But the Metro is a castle built on lies. Damn, am I angry. And so far, no matter how far we get, we haven't met a single enemy. Isn't that strange? But Father won't have a word of it. Stay vigilant, be careful, the enemy never sleeps. You know, I love my father. A whole lot, no matter what. But what if everything he's been told is just another layer of lies? I hope we'll find out how deep this rabbit hole is, once we get to Yamantau. <sighs> well, what do you know? I do feel better now, after telling you. Thanks for hearing me out, Artyom. Let's just sit here a little. Alright, run along. Dad wanted something. <laughs>